Hello guys, this is your friend Maricus and Caviar Gang bringing you another episode of Comics Con Sabor. Oops, excuse me guys. Yeah, buddy. Today's episode of Comics Con Sabor is it's a little sad for me. Because this is where we're starting to tell more or less the beginning of the last story of Invincible. I would say like the last... I think it's about 15, counting this from the last 12 issues of Invincible, which I'm still very, very upset at. Robert Kirkman, writer. Uh, yes, is is bittersweet because I believe that Invincible is one of the best superhero books out there. Period. I love Superman. I love Thor. Unworthy Thor now. Um, all these other characters. But I believe that Invincible is one of the best written books out there. And this is issue 133. Uh, it tells the beginning of the story of the end of all things. Again, it's from Image Comics. Uh, Robert Kirkman. <laughs> He's the writer. And it's actually quite crazy how we see, um, especially in this episode, when Invisible's brother Oliver dies. He's, he's killed by Thrak. And they're doing his funeral. And he's so broken down. And then, they're at the funeral. He starts to fighting. Um, oh my god, I forgot this guy's name. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, he's, part, he's the leader of the coalition, um, helping against um, the Vintrinu again. But what really, really strong about the, the, the issue besides the all emotional distress is the last two pages. Which this guy actually reveals that he knew the danger Oliver, um, Invincible's brother, was going through. That he was going to go through. And that there was a good chance that he was gonna die. So he knew that Thrag literally was it was a ninety percent chance, ninety percent chance that Thrag was gonna kill him. And I'm like, wow. That's just I, I understand. Go all out, do whatever you have to do, you know, especially for what's right. Again, that's how much I feel about invisible. I, Sometimes I forget this is actual, it's a comic book, you know, but you could relate to it, to the characters, you can relate to the character. And Oliver was his nubby little brother, uh, that he always thought that he should be more, but he got killed. And it was very, like the scene when he got killed, like, like it should be four, two issues before, Wow, but this was very emotional. And now Invincible and his uh, current wife, now his wife, Atomic Eve, have decided to join the coalition and kill Thrak. Simple as that. And I don't know where this is going to lead because Invincible is no longer a hero. He retires as a hero. He's no longer a superhero. He's just a person with superpowers. So. I don't know where this is actually going to lead to the end of the story but it's so rich but I again I'm so not gonna accept, accept really mad at Mr. Kirkman I wish he would cancel another book The Walking Dead cause it's boring I had it with that book like I just had it but Invisible is so rich and so strong. Man, I'm really sad. I'm really sad that issue 145 is going to be the last one. And hopefully when I see Mr. Kirkman at Comic Con, I'm just going to let him know. I'm like, why? Or if this is a whole that's going to switch, something's going to happen that Invisible is not going to end, it's going to continue, I'll be like, thank you, sir. But if not, I'm like, dude, why? Cause it's one of those characters, man, that I'm like, it really hits, it really hits. You could relate to Invincible. You could relate to Invincible. 
So it's gonna be bittersweet. And again, guys, thank you for allowing me to get into your lives, you know, to share this with you guys. Uh, don't forget to purchase Invincible episode. Episode. Oh my God, issue 133 at your local comic book stores. And if you're uh, near the New Jersey area, North Bergen area, you can post by the ANS Comics. Or in Teaneck, New Jersey. Pass by the NGS Comics and pick up Invisible. Single issues or trade tra books. Those guys are good. Those guys show me a lot of love and you know, I just, I just have to reciprocate. Those guys show a lot of love to me, so yeah. So thanks again guys. Thanks for the love. Um, you guys, you know, you guys will, uh, can watch this episode on InnerCityGeeks.com. Those guys are great. Uh, you guys could uh, watch on my YouTube channel. Subscribe so well, and that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, you guys could uh, follow me down in Twitter, on Twitter at uh, BlackAdam001. And I'm there. If you guys have any questions, keep talking about the Invincible because I'm telling you, it gets emotional. This past few issues has been very emotional. It's an emotional train wreck for Invincible. So yeah, uh, thanks again, guys. Thanks for the love, mad love. I'll see you in another episode of Comics on Sabor. Peace.